Hey everybody, Migs from Migs TCG, and today I want to talk to you guys about competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! So with the release of Photon Hypernova, a new set of strategies are actually going to come to the table. And this, alongside the fact that there's going to be a YCS 3v3 in Vegas coming up in a few weeks, means that we will more than likely be seeing these strategies at that YCS. The first strategy to really take note of would be tier limits. <laughs> it's still gonna be number one, sadly. And with the new box releasing, that's actually next week. It, they're gonna get a new name. They're gonna get some support in the form of a new field spell. Sadly, they're still gonna be number one. For those of you who like playing tier limits, cool. It's gonna continue being the strongest deck out there. For those of you who don't, eh, well, what can we do, right? Another one of the most notable Subo support coming out would be the Kashira. The cards uh, have already started pre-selling and they are expensive. I believe that at the moment the what's it the field spell is going at around 70 to 80 dollars. Kind of fluctuates here and there. But again, they call it Kashira for a reason. Haha. <laughs> Let's say you want to play Kashira, you better be buying those box sets because if not, the cards themselves are essentially pretty expensive actually that would be a good contender but will we see it there in my opinion i don't know i expect to see a few cash decks here and there but keep in mind that if you do not have it by now you need darkwing blast which again is another core set that is very very hard to find at the moment and then you have you have to pull the new cards coming out of the new set so 50 50. gishki will more than likely be in my opinion making an appearance at the ycs because Gishki is getting good support with cards that are able to tribute your monsters for their ritual monsters. In doing so, Gishki can also be meshed very well with the sprite package. Now the sprite package is not as expensive to obtain at the moment. I believe that probably sprite blue would still be the most expensive card at around $40. I've seen some uh, sprite starters for six here and there, and pretty much every other sprite name is very, very inexpensive. So if you're playing Geshki, I really am looking forward to seeing what you do with the deck. I'm very excited to go against some of you guys playing Geshki sprite. So that should be fun. Sprite Geshki isn't probably the only sprite they're gonna be playing. I know some people are still running sprites with Tri Brigade. Fair strategy very good at this point it's been out for a while so you never know another strategy getting support is ninjas will ninjas make an appearance probably not it's not really a meta deck and if you look at the ocg they're not really not many ninja decks out there however to me at least personally ninjas are cool and i kind of want to play the strategy if i'm able to pull some of their cards i know i have some cards from the previous set as well and i kind of want to give those a try um, usually Fluanda Reese as well is another deck that is seen a lot in YCS. A lot of people have been saying that usually Fluanda Reese is a strategy for YCS and they do good in YCS. However, this time because of the Kashira like, support and the Kashira deck itself, Fluanda Reese might take a backseat. People call it the budget Kashira. As for me, I will be participating at the YCS. Uh, along with my wife and her brother so it should be fun um next week though with the release of photon hypernova i'm looking forward to probably pulling some cards that will be able to buff up my deck a little bit in the meantime would you be participating in the ycs what strategy are you looking forward to seeing let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one don't forget saturday is the seventh